Hi, this is B is for BattleBots, the official BattleBots alphabet book. It's written by me, Andrea Galately, with amazing illustrations by Caleb Kempson, and today it's read by your favorite BattleBots teams. Enjoy! We're right there. Let the bot battle begin! BattleBots is a televised competition where teams design and build robots to battle top opponents from across the globe to win the BattleBots World Championship. Robots, activate! In-game called out Tubestone last season. Will Ray Billings take them at their word? Let the bot battle begin! Endgame is making a lot of noise as they charge in on the attack. But Tombstone is holding its ground. Let's show these kids who's boss. Shing! Wabam! Whoa! Endgame lost his sunglasses! That's a huge hit, Chris! But wait, huge isn't in this fight. Ooh. A is for artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence allows a machine to collect information and make its own decisions. While most robots need humans at the controls, Chomp can automatically aim and fire its own hammer with good timing. It has sensors to help it see its surroundings and it can make decisions faster than a human. And then there's Chomp saying, keep your distance, Chomp Chomp. B is for Battle Box. The Battle Box is a special arena designed for battle bots. The walls of the battle box are made of polycarbonate, which is also used on hurricane rated windows and bullet resistant glass. The battle box is filled with hazards such as pulverizer hammers and kill saw. C is for crusher. A crusher is designed to clamp down with enough force to pierce its opponent's armor. Kraken can crush opponents with over 20,000 pounds of force. That's about the weight of six cars. Crushers can pierce through strong armor and cause serious damage to vital components. And C is... Also for... Cluh... Stir... Bot! Cluster bots split the 250 pound weight limit... Among multiple robots. Cluster bots often use strategy to their advantage since it can be difficult to fight multiple robots at once. The opponent must disable more than 60% of the cluster bot's weight to win by knockout. Did you know, since Gemini and Hack and Slash have two robots of the same weight, both must be disabled to win via knockout. Ready? Mm -hmm. D is for damage. Armor helps protect robots from damage during a match. It's important to guard your robot against powerful weapons. Armor is usually made out of metal, like steel or titanium. Since armor can be heavy, some robots change their armor location depending on their opponent. The end. It is for electronics. Electronics control weapon drive and remote control systems. Batteries provide the voltage and the current to power the electronic components control the actions of the robot. Robots use much more powerful batteries than the ones in your toys at home. Did you know, if Hypershock used AA batteries, it would need 720 batteries for a single three minute match? F is for Flipper. A Flipper is designed to launch other robots up into the air. Flippers damage their opponent by throwing them so high that they break when they land under their own weight. They can also win if their opponent is immobilized after landing upside down or onto the screws. Flippers are some of the most complex robots to build. Did you know? The most powerful flippers can throw a 250 pound robot over 10 feet in the air. That's as high as a house. F is also for flamethrower. A robot with a flamethrower can shoot fire at its opponent. Flamethrowers can damage anything that may be vulnerable to heat, like wheels and electronics. They are most popular on drones and minibots since it allows them to attack from a distance. G is for the Giant Nut. The Giant Nut is the championship trophy awarded to the top robot each season. It's a long road to the Giant Nut. Each robot first battles in a number of qualifying matches. Then, the selection committee determined the top 16 robot to compete for the Giant Nut in the World Championship Tournament. 
H is for horizontal spinner. A horizontal spinner is a spinning weapon that is parallel to the ground. Some horizontal spinners use a bar like Tombstone. Some use a disc like Valkyrie. Rotator has two spinning discs. Others have a spinning shell over the entire robot like Gigabyte and Captain Shredderator. Horizontal spinners usually have a bigger weapon diameter than vertical spinners. These large weapons can cause serious damage to the opponent, but they often take more time to get up to full speed. Did you know fact? Tombstone's weapon weighs over 60 pounds and has a tip speed of 250 miles per hour. Actually, Tombstone's lightest weapon is just over 60 pounds. Its heaviest weapon is almost 80 pounds. I is for internal combustion engine. Ice Wave uses an internal combustion engine to power its spinning bar. The ice in Ice Wave stands for internal combustion engine. Just like a race car, it works by igniting a mix of gasoline and air, resulting in heat and pressure that move pistons up and down to make its weapon bar spin. J is for judge's decision. If both robots can still show movement at the end of the match, it goes to a judge's decision. Each judge awards points for damage, aggression, and control to decide the winner. If all the judges score the match for the same robot, then it's a unanimous decision. Otherwise, it's a split decision. Did you know there are always three judges to make sure a tie is impossible? K is for Knockout. If a robot is disabled before the end of a match, it ends in a knockout. If a robot stops moving before the match is over, the referee will wait 10 seconds before starting a 10 second countdown. If the robot can't show controlled movement during that time, the match ends in a knockout. Did you know, in 2018, Tombstone lost by knockout when it got stuck on its own weapon chain? L is for lifter. A lifter is designed to pick up and control the opponent. A robot has to be very powerful to be able to lift a 250 pound opponent. While flipper weapons move more, very fast to launch robots into the air, lifters move more slowly with the goal of controlling the opponent. They can knock out their opponent by high siding them or by using the battle box hazards to cause damage. M is for motor. A motor uses battery electrical energy to make something spin, like a wheel or a weapon. Choosing the best motor can be tricky. Faster motors usually have less pushing power, while heavier motors may perform better, but you might need to sacrifice armor to make the weight limit. Team must choose a perfect balance of speed, pushing power, and weight for the design. P is for pneumatics. Robots with pneumatics use compressed gas to power their weapons. While motors are a great choice for spinning weapons, other designs require a different kind of motion. Pneumatics are commonly used in flippers like Lucky, but Double Jeopardy's Cannon, Chomp's Hammer, and Kraken's Crusher are also powered by pneumatics. N is for nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts are used to hold parts together. The spiral around the bolt shaft matches the nut, allowing them to attach together. Nuts and bolts are convenient because they are very strong, but they can also be disassembled quickly to replace parts of the robot. Did you know that Witch Doctor uses over 300 bolts, and the Battle Box uses over 4,000? O is for overhead weapons. Robots with overhead weapons, like hammers or saws, can attack other robots from above. I'll take this! Overhead weapons take advantage of the least armored area of most robots. Hammers will strike through the top of their opponent to shatter the delicate internal components, while saws cut through the top armor, directly damaging the batteries, the motors, and the electronics. <clears throat> Did you know that most overhead weapons could double as a self writing mechanism in case the robot lands upside down? Quiet, you! Mm. Q is for quadcopter. A quadcopter flies using four propellers. Or, <laughs> sometimes they don't fly, ain't that right, buddy? A quadcopter has four arms stretching out of its frame, 
each with its own motor and propeller. It's very stable in flight because it has two propellers rotating in one direction and the other two in the opposite direction. Did you notice that the picture has six propellers? Multi-rotors can have more than four propellers for extra power. R is for rumble. A rumble is any match with more than two robots in the battle box at the same time. In 2018, BattleBots had a last chance rumble with six robots fighting at once to win a spot in the World Championship Tournament. Did you know in a rumble there are no knockouts as long as at least two robots are still moving? Pictured, Valkyrie, Red Devil, Bombshell, Gigabyte, Lucky, and Duck. S is for safety. Building and battling robots can be dangerous, so it's important to follow all of the safety rules. Always use eye and hearing protection when using tools, even on small projects at home. We have to follow strict rules on battle bots to make sure each fight is safe and fair for everyone. These are some of the rules on battle bots. One, every robot must weigh under 250 pounds. Two, robots can't shoot any liquids. Three, electrocuting weapons are not allowed. And four, no explosives can be used. S is also for sparks. Sparks are tiny pieces of metal that are hot enough to produce light. When robots strike their opponent, tiny pieces of metal break off during the impact. These metal pieces, known as sparks, are so hot that they glow as they fly through the air. Did you know, steel sparks are yellow, but titanium sparks are white. <laughs> T is for team. It takes a team to build and compete on BattleBots. Are you part of a team at school? Just like in soccer or cheerleading, BattleBots teams work together to share ideas and workload. Building robots takes a lot of time and knowledge, so it can be challenging to do it alone. It's also more fun when you're part of a team. U is for upside down. Some robots can't move when they're flipped upside down. Why don't all robots have a self-writing mechanism to flip over if they land upside down? Well, some are still able to drive upside down like Minotaur, while others can use their weapon to flip over like Blacksmith. Self-writing mechanisms can be heavy, so some teams choose to take the risk. Hmm. What do you think, mm. little Salty? V is for vertical spinner. A vertical spinner has a spinning weapon perpendicular to the ground. These robots use their spinning weapon to strike their opponents and launch them into the air. Some vertical spinners use a disc like Death Roll, and some use a bar like Monsoon. Minotaur uses a spinning drum, and robots like Copperhead and Black Dragon use an egg beater weapon. Picture Bombshell versus Tombstone. W is for wheels. Most robots use wheels to move around the arena. If robot tires were filled with air like car tires, you would see a lot of flat tires. Instead, robots use solid tires, which are much more durable. Did you know? Huge has the biggest wheels of all of the battle bots. X is for XYZ dimensions. X, Y, and Z are the three dimensions in the term 3D, like 3D printing or 3D glasses. The D in 3D stands for dimensions. An image that's printed on a paper looks flat because it only has two dimensions, X, which is width, and height, which is Y. Objects in the real world have an additional dimension, known as depth, which is Z. This third dimension gives the object volume instead of appearing flat. Y is for young builders. What kind of robot would you build? Did you know that the sport of combat robotics is more than a TV show? Around the world, builders of all ages compete with smaller robots. Start by drawing different ideas with your team. What kind of weapon will it have? Will the armor protect its wheels? Can it drive upside down? Then ask an adult to help you find a robotics club at your school or local makerspace to get started. Pictured is Death Roll, Whiplash, and Hydra. Z is for zip tie. A zip tie is a plastic strip that uses small teeth to lock into place and hold things together. You will find zip ties inside most battle bots. Zip ties require no tools. They are quick to use. They come in all colors and sizes. 
They are often used to secure wires to prevent them from accidentally disconnecting during a match. A single loose wire can result in a knockout.